We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jerome Baker, Miami Dolphins linebacker, and I think he's going to be vastly important to this team's success next season in 2023 because he is a part of the linebacker unit. Like, you look at the defensive back unit, it is stacked with talent, same as the defensive line, defensive front, and I think other teams are going to look at the linebacker unit, look at David Long, Jerome Baker. They're kind of going to see Baker as, like, that weak uh, link on the defense, uh, not necessarily like the worst player on the defense, but a guy that they can attack because the other position groups are so stacked. So if he can step up, make plays, uh, and I think in 20, like this past season, was probably the best season I saw Baker had, especially I'm going to break down film on the final two games, the Bills and the Jets. Versus the Bills, Baker was pretty amazing in coverage, and versus the Jets, he did a really solid job versus the run, and he's going to be ha- going to have to do those t- types of things, you know, light boxes. He's going to have to step up versus the run. I think that's an area where he might struggle this next season, but I think in coverage, actually, he could get even better because I'll be honest, I don't think Baker was the best in coverage throughout his career. He's always been a great athlete, but he never had the greatest instincts in coverage. I think he's actually improved in that area, understanding his jobs. I think with Fangio running the defense, he'll even get better. It'll make life easier for him, especially with the secondary. You know, they have numbers advantage with how uh, Fangio likes to set up his defense, the leverage advantage as well. And I think he does a good job. He can carry... uh, tight ends down the seam down the middle of the field man-to-man match them up he also zone drop take away throwing lanes and I think it will be an easy better job for him in 2023 and he really if he steps up and plays even at a better level this next season this defense will go from like uh probably top 10 top 5 to being one of the best in the NFL I could see them being the best if the linebacker unit plays at a solid level or higher We'll break down this play a little more slowly. We got Baker right here, man to man on Dawson Knox. Javon Holland ended up getting, you know, the PBU on this, but it just does a great job of Baker here. And man to man coverage, like Dawson Knox is no slouch. Like this is really good coverage. Like he ends up, you know, staying square, getting hands on. Knox does a good job getting physical and winning uh to the inside pretty quickly. Baker's still in a solid position, but this is what I really like about this. Like he can stay, you know, on that outside leverage hip right here with help over the top from Holland. But he decides, you know, get in trail, undercut this. So now for this throw, he knows he has helps direct over the top, but he by switching up his leverage, undercutting this throw, he's forcing Allen to throw it like deep over the top having to drop this in here and allows Javon Holland to drop on this, make a play at the catch point. That's high level work from Jerome Baker, just understanding the situation and where he has help. Baker still at his best as a blitzer. He's always been throughout his entire career, just great feel blitzing the quarterback, the closing, the burst. He times up the snaps really well. It's just an area where he's always been really good at. And now going into, you know, Fangio's defense, they won't be you know, running like cover zero blitzing like that a ton really, so that will be less, but they do like to fire zone blitz from time to time, which I think gives Baker an even better chance to, you know, get active with how they set up his blitzes, so it'll be, you know, less common blitzing than he did with the Dolphins, but it'll be, you know, more catching the offensive off guard and won't be as obvious when they're blitzing, so you just have Baker timing this up, they pull the guard away, and this they have to, you know, block down, and that's just Baker is just going to follow through this. They have no chance of blocking him. He dips that shoulder. He does a really good job with his upper body, reducing the surface area. And just by dipping that shoulder, that O-line can only get his hand on his back. So Baker closes, does a good job, throwing that right elbow back so he can turn his hips and get to Josh Allen and finish for that sack. Uh, Just another area where I think he brings the most value to this team. And if he can, you know... I think where the area I'm most concerned is just against the run because they like to run light boxes. And if he can, you know, play at least, you know, average versus the run, I like how this defensive outlook will look next season because I expect him to play pretty solid in coverage. Uh, I think their uh, coverage with Fangio is going to be actually really good. I think Baker and David Long aren't like top tier coverage linebackers, but they're both solid enough with that secondary that they're going to be really, really great there think bigger really improved just as his own dropper no matter what it was here they're in cover six and he's just you know a hook curl defender he's to the side of the cover two flat corner but he's just done just so much a better feel like he has first of all he has the athleticism to really drop stay smooth read the quarterback's eyes like he's really smooth in his pedal here gain a bunch of depth knowing you know this they're playing you know this is a half corner or half safety here he's got half the field He's just taking away, he feels this tight end behind him, and he knows if he bends this to the middle of the field, he knows the middle of the field's open, and he's just gaining enough depth to take this away. You can see Allen's eyes, and then he's coming off of it because this is taking away really good coverage distribution there. And then he's feeling Allen starting to throw this underneath, he's anticipating, he drops down, and then, you know, helps limit this gain, you know, to only a three-yard gain, not picking up the first down. You can see it even better from this angle. Look how he affects Allen's eyes on this play. Allen is staring 
that route down right behind him. He takes away the throwing lane. This is the running cover six here, like definitely something you will see in Fangio, either as a you know pure zone dropper, and there will also be times where he has to carry. Say he's like a three by one, he might have to carry the number three down the field. He can do that. He's you know an, very athletic, very good closing speed. He's one of the fastest linebackers in the NFL. It just didn't always translate. He was always a better athlete than he was a football player, and I think you know as the years have gone on, he's become a better and better football player. And he's just you know he's never been like the biggest problem on this Dolphins defense and I think you know this next season he's gonna have really stacked defense around him and if he can step up and you know play the level of those guys I really like their chances you know of going pretty far uh throughout this season Dolphins in cover two here two by two formation he's dropping out of this getting to the two receiver side over here and he's like just looks so much smoother in coverage man it's been really impressive because sometimes he would look a little stiff like he's a great athlete but just feel like he was uncomfortable feeling what he's got to do here and he's just dropping out matching number two he sees two working vertically and he just wants to take away this inside leverage but you know not allow him to win down the field because he you know they're basically in tampa two here and he doesn't want number two to win vertically over the middle you know attacking this cover two and he breaks back to the inside you can see how he just matches it great footwork flip out of it uh, and that's Cole Beasley too. And Cole Beasley is a very quick-footed athlete, great agility, and Baker's able to stick with him. Like really impressive stuff. Uh, like it looks like he maybe creates separation there, but the ball's being thrown out. That's why you know Baker slows down on that receiver. But it was just an excellent, excellent you know work there, being able to distribute those routes. And those are types of plays that will translate really well to Fangio's defense. You know when they're running you know these types of zone looks, and then you're matching down the field on the number two taking away that inside, maintaining your leverage. They have the number advantage to this side, you know, a four and two, uh, and he just plays this route to perfection. Nothing crazy looking here, but they're just like motioning, and he, they're really trying to, you know, he's a man-to-man -man on Naheem Hines, and they're really trying to set this up by getting him picked. He does a really good job. I feel like a lot of times when I saw them trying to, you know, rub Baker, get him picked, he's done a great job of either getting over the top or getting underneath it to get back into positioning here, understanding what's going on. He just played with so much better you know awareness and coverage this season and great athleticism to match nine Hines is a really good receiving running back and just getting out of there giving this no chance to go there and then they have to throw you know a deep vertical route on the field just an excellent you know uh, instinctual play by Baker and then getting there with his athleticism another rep right here where he's man-to-man -man on Dawson Knox and he just gets physical at the line this is press man-to-man -man. like not a lot of linebackers are doing this and like Dawson Knox, a pretty solid tight end. He just gets physical. He stays square over the top. And then once he starts to get, like, five yards on the field, like, he he knows the rules here. Like, five yards on the field, he starts to get less physical. Staying over the top, staying over the top, slowing down this route. He knows he's able to do this right now. Ball is not out. And then once he gets to about five yards, he opens those hips, stops getting physical, and now he's just in perfect trail. He knows he has help over the top. He has help to the middle of the field. So what does he do here? He's anticipating that this is going to break to the outside just based on, you know, the pre-snap positioning and how he's, you know, reading the body language right now. And he undercuts this back to the outside, breaks on this, gives this no separation, understood where he has help again. These are high-level man-to-man reps versus tight ends that he's having. Won't be playing strictly man-to-man -man, uh, at the next level. It actually will be even easier with how they match things up in Fangio's defense. He'll have, uh, you know, he'll be off the ball. He doesn't have to press and have all that work. And it'll just be things will work towards him. Uh, and he just has to, you know, sit there and then match it late in the route. It will be a much easier job for him. And if he plays that coverage well, if he understands Fangio's scheme, just really like the outlook for this team. Baker actually versus the run here versus the Bills. They weren't running the ball a whole ton, so he didn't have to do too much versus the run. But this is a good job, you know. Uh, he kind of missed the tackle there, but he still gets, you know, the tackle for loss technically, uh, forcing him out to get out of bounds. But, you know, really excellent play here. He's feeling this, like, pitch to the outside. You can see him cheating pre-snap. And he just wants to, you know, get into his gap, beat 73 to the point of attack. He does a really good job, you know, not allowing him to, you know, create this contact he gets his left hand into the chest of 73 so he sets the edge he's the force player here he wins the gap responsibility and then he has the speed you know uh james cook does a really good job dipping you know under that tackle right there but he still had to go out of bounds anyways there was already you know too far back too far to the sideline but just really good job by baker with the gap responsibility and uh getting to his spot quickly you know not allowing and beating an offensive tackle no less gonna have to beat offensive tackles in the defense next season with the lighter boxes that Fangio likes to run but Baker lined up right here over the running back and they try to hit the quick wheel route I feel like in years past if you've watched the Dolphins Baker really struggled with concepts like this where he would just be lined up on the line of scrimmage so he doesn't have a like 
a ton of space to work with, you know, this running back gets out quickly and can beat him quickly. Like he just does a great job instantly getting up, avoiding the rub route again, and staying in perfect positioning with Naeem Hines. That is excellent, excellent work. Like I feel like I saw Baker get beat by that type of play so many times in the past where he gets isolated on a running back like this. And he's actually running a route down the field. It puts Baker in a very tough spot. Like that's where this concept's trying to go. And it forces Allen to escape the pocket on a second 11 situation and then get a sack. Really, really good work in a man to man situation um, by Jerome Baker all the way down the field. Just really improved uh, covering tight ends and running backs this season. Here versus the Jets, he just did a way better job versus the run. Taking on a lineman, too. He's not the biggest linebacker, but coming up to the point of attack, taking on a lineman like this, squaring him up, being able to stack, get control of your gap here, like get this outside control. Just complete control. He's playing like a, this like a defensive lineman, you know, almost like playing two gap right here in complete control. And once this running back commits, Michael Carter commits to this outside hole, he's able to get off of it, stack and shed. Just an excellent play from this perspective. Getting down, got to be able to take a lineman on, especially as a linebacker. And he showed off play strength this year. He does a good job with his wide base, hands inside the chest. He's sort of turning him to get complete control and then, you know, creating space last second to get the tackle. Really, really good work. Also, you know, good work by Andrew Van Ginkle as well, uh, who I think will also be important to this defense success because he can play multiple positions across the line and is a very, very strong run defender. So I'm deconstructed block, you know, playing, you know, linebacker over here where Roberts was now. He's the Mike middle of the field, and this time he's able to avoid a block out in space. There's multiple different ways to win. If you're avoiding a block, you still got it. You don't want to, you know, get too far around, get too wide, lose your leverage, and he just does a great job. Letting this, you know, sort of block come to him by staying square, staying pace, and he doesn't try to shoot down and try to beat it instantly. Uh, linebackers, a lot of times, you know, if you have the opportunity, you can get aggressive, shoot a gap. But sometimes when that happens, the linebacker or the O-line will just get a hand on you and push you out of the play. You'll create a gap, a lane all by yourself, but he stays patient. Allow 60 to climb to him, and once he shoots his hands, he shoots his hands to just quick swim over the top, but staying in the exact same positioning, avoiding the block, by, but still staying in the exact same spot to fill is excellent, excellent work there from Jerome Baker. Here he is in coverage again versus the tight end, playing some off-man coverage this time, not press, out in space, a little more space to work with, and he's still able to, you know, play with good coverage, pretty much carry this down the field, stay in phase, just on this flip fade right here. There's so much room to work with. Like, he is one-on-one. -on -one. This is where this should go based, you know, on the look over here. The safety is cheating to his head a little bit, but with it being a fade, if he gets this, if he holds the safety long enough, uh, this is where you're supposed to go with the ball. Baker does a good job staying square, staying patient, waiting for the tight end commit. Like, tight end tried to give him, like, a little inside move right here. Baker doesn't fall for it. He's very patient in the route. Like, this coverage improves so much this season. And then sticking in that hip pocket, uh, and the only way that gets completed is by if it's, like, an absolutely perfect throw. Last play, then I'm going to break down Baker, just meeting this line, uh, running back in the hole, playing the mic. He's going to have to play, you know, multiple different spots, uh, I think, under Fangio, Mike, Will, whatever it's going to be, maybe some Sam as well, all the different types of linebacker roles. Like, they'll have some rotation going on. I don't think, you know, him and Long are pretty interchangeable, I think, as pieces. But this is just a good job, you know, staying in phase, filling into this B-gap right here. Uh, he sees the opportunity, sees all this space opening up. He's not just going to stay super patient and just sort of stack and track this. He just wants to get down this hole and uh, limit this space right here, constrict the run lanes pretty quickly, and then meet the running back in the point of, uh, in the hole at the point of attack and, you know, limit that to, you know, about a two-yard gain. So really good job from Baker with a huge hole opening up that he's able to get down, fill it, you know, replace everything that's happening here. But with that defensive line in front of him, I'm not super worried. Like, the D-line is very dominant, especially versus the run. Like, Sealer and Wilkins are two of the best run defending, run defending defensive tackles in the NFL. So with that in front of him, it does help Baker out a lot. I think it will help. He has David Long next to him, who's also a very good run defender. I think that will help him out. And if he keeps improving his coverage ability, I just think, man, this defense could really, really be something special. Because I didn't think it much when I was watching the season. I thought Baker was playing pretty solidly. But after going back, really watching these final two games, like, I was like, Baker was playing better than I even thought. Like, it might have been the best year of his career. Uh, if he keeps that up, with like, I think this defense, man, could really, really, you know, with the op combined with the offense, this whole team could be really special. Like, I think they have, a, like, this is like the first time I would th say in my lifetime, I think the Dolphins have a Super Bowl chance. Uh, so hopefully this season, next season, they can build upon that and, you know, get there. That'd be super, super exciting. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.